Hey guys, today we have a video for you if you are about to have your very first time and you want to know some good tips to make it great. This is actually a request that we've received from somebody in our community. They are about to get married, they've waited until their wedding and they want to make sure that this first time is going to be memorable and great and all of that. So we're going to give you our tips to make it fantastic. I am Celine Remy, the interview Intimacy Angel. And I'm Kevin Anthony, the Truth Warrior. And if you're still waiting to have your first time, or maybe your first time wasn't that good and you'd like to redo the first time, then make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this video. Our tip number one is to start by lowering your expectations. I know that's not what you might be thinking, but let's be honest. The first time is very rarely fantastically amazing. So don't expect it to be spectacular. When in life do you ever expect to be fantastic and good at something that you've never done before? So it's just the same in the bedroom. Lower your expectations, do your best, but know that it's probably not going to be your best. Absolutely. This is one of the biggest mistakes that we see couples who have not had sex yet make. Even if they've had sex in the past and it's their first time having sex with this particular partner, they tend to build it up way too big in their heads and then they kind of get a little bit disappointed and let down later on. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, make sure you have a clear discussion beforehand. So especially for our couple who's about to get married, You've obviously been dating, you've been engaged for a certain amount of time. You need during all of that time leading up to it to have the discussions you need to have. What kind of sex do you think that you would like? Um, what things are yes absolutely and what things are your oh hell no's? Right? You need to have the discussion about birth control. Do you want to use it? If so, what kind? There's lots of things that you want to work out before you get into the bedroom. You don't want to be, all right, we're about to have sex, and then, oh, we got to get into this heady discussion because we've never talked about any of these things. And also talk about your safe sex discussion, meaning, you know, like, it's different when you're getting married and you know that you're going to be monogamous together and you haven't had any other partners and you're committed to each other. But if you just like, hey, this is your first time and there might not be your last person you're going to be with, and you want to have other partners, make sure you have discussions around how do they have sex with other people or how do you want to use a condom? Have they, do they have any STI, like any thing that they need to be sharing before you are sharing fluids with one another? It's really important. And I know what you might be thinking, we're like, how can I ask for what I want and need in the bedroom if I haven't had sex? Well, we are hoping that you have been exploring your body at least a little bit, that you know the kind of touch that you like, the kind of pressure, some of the special places that feel better in your body so that you can guide your partner. You can't expect your partner to be a Jedi mind reader and know what you need and want. And it's okay to guide your partner and to tell them what to, that, that, like not in a bossy way of what to do, but kind of like what feels good and let them know and giving them feedback. Okay, our tip number three is to make it special because, hey, your first time only happens once. So make it special for you in whatever way that looks like, meaning that you might want to set the mood, you want to create a beautiful room, maybe you want to have some candles, a dim lighting, like whatever works for you, or special music, something that helps you get out of your head into your body and opens up your heart so that it creates a beautiful connection with your partner. And again, it is very personal. There's no set rule in how you can do that. It's all about the intention of making this a special time in your life. The number one complaint of women about their first time is that it wasn't special. Mm -hmm. that it was some quickie thing that happened in the back of a car or whatever. So definitely focus on making it special. All right, our next tip, we sort of talked about this already, but make sure that during the first time, you speak up and ask for what you want. And as Celine said, you don't do it in a bossy way. Oh, no, don't do that. But you say, hey, you know what? I think it would feel a little bit better for me if we were in this position or if you moved that way or if you did this, or how about I move over here and try that, right? 
You have to be able to ask for what you want, especially if it's the first time you've ever had sex because you don't really know what you want. You don't really know what you're going to like until you start doing it. And if you start doing it and you realize, whoa, that's not working for me, you need to speak up and say so. You actually jumped ahead and skipped one important <gasps> point here. Uh oh, you're right, I did. The foreplay one, because this is exactly what's going to happen in your first time. Usually, first time doesn't last that long because there's been <laughs> so much build up, so much anticipation, and it's very normal for the man to ejaculate super quickly and then it's over. So, you want to make sure that there is some build up that happens, some foreplay, some exploring each other's bodies and genitals and seeing like what happens when you press that button or push here or do that because again if you've had some foreplay even if the penetration part lasts just mere seconds or minutes which is absolutely normal I mean my first time my uh, boyfriend at that time lasted for about 15 seconds well actually he didn't even make it past putting in putting the condom the first time then he put the condom went in and it was probably a 30 seconds to one minute experience so it's okay it's normal don't expect it to be something that's going to be lasting forever if you've ever seen that that scene in american pie that's usually how it goes mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's totally normal yes mm -hmm. and so be prepared be prepared for that tip number six it's Afterwards, talk about what you like, what worked, and I mean, if there was something that really didn't work, you can bring it up. But mostly you want to focus on the positive. You want to focus on complimenting each other. You know, when you held me, it felt so good, when you touched there, or I loved how you went really slow. You know, another thing is there's going to be excitement about that first time, and there's a tendency to want to go really quickly. And this is why the foreplay helps to slow things down. And if there's any discomfort, or anything like you can use some lube and again to take things slow is very important so if your partner was like noticing that oh you were like having pain and he was like oh let me grab some lube or let me slow down you can like thank him for having like paused for you and your body to open up so this type of things will go a long way yeah you know sex for the first time is a very vulnerable thing and you wanna make sure that you reassure each other that it was okay and that it all went well. So sitting there after sex and saying, hey, you know, it was really wonderful when you did this part, or I really enjoyed when you did that part, or, you know, that was amazing for me. I loved every moment of it, right? Mm -hmm. All of those things will help each other feel good about the situation and inspire each other to want to do it again. Mm-hmm, yes. And our tip number seven is get prepared and ready to do it again and again and again because practice makes perfect mm -hmm. and realistically speaking that first time is not going to be your best so be prepared to go at it again and and explore and by the way the whole like talking after the lovemaking we do this all the time this is a practice that we love so you can start to create a foundation a new habit for your relationship where you're like hey like this kind of deep breathing after the love making and just like going over the things that went well and how good it felt is amazing whether you're a virgin or not a virgin whether yeah. you've been together forever or just like our brand new lovers so it's once it's one practice you want to keep yeah some people will say oh no you don't want to get in your head and talk just lay there and enjoy the afterglow that's fine you can do that just make time after that to have a discussion <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> So these are our tips. I'm going to add a bonus tip because I think also it's important to mention that your first time you should be fully present. So don't be like drunk or under substances that will alter your ability to be here with the person and to voice whatever is happening if need be to be stopped or anything like that. Um, and I know some people were like, well, I'm going to just drink a glass of wine so that I can relax and, and be there. Like, if you're nervous, it's okay to voice and say, hey, I'm nervous. Let's breathe together. Hold me. Touch me. Like, I need to feel that we're connected. And all of this will make a big difference. So, no, like, be fully yourself with no substances that will alter how you feel and what you will remember about that first experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we hope these tips were helpful. 
And uh, again, lower your expectation. It's okay. It's just sex. Have a lot of fun at it. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we will see you in our next video.